I moved here in 1976 from Ontario to Woodstock. Went to work for a furniture manufacturer here in Woodstock, and where uh, I ran a molder, which made furniture components, and uh, ran that for two years. And then I worked for uh, a door manufacturer, and then I kind of went into my own business after that, in about 1987. My favorite woods uh, are walnut, uh, butternut, basswood, uh, most of the hardwoods. For carving, I like most of the uh, exotic woods. I like the walnuts and uh, Honduras mahoganies. And, but the native woods I use are birch, uh, curly maple. The curly maples are very nice. And I try to use like a knotty pine where, uh, you know, you get a, quite a you know, the grain, once again, I like the, the look of the, the knots and the grain, and that kind of speaks for the wood itself. Eh? One thing about my looms, or any of my wood carvings I do, are, uh, and specifically the, the looms, is that each one is uh, unique from the other one. I do not mass produce them. Not one of them is alike, and every uh, one has their own different uh, wood grain and wood patterns. I uh, call myself a one-of-a-kind wood artist because each particular piece is one-of-a-kind. Uh, the loon is uh, all hand-carved. So I basically have to uh, use a chisel um, and uh, carve it all by with a mallet. I use a mallet and a chisel. So it's all pretty well done by, by hand. Eh? My wife uh, bought me my first chisel set in 1978. And I did a uh, small carving on the back of a piece of pine that I had gotten from work. And uh, I thought it looked pretty good. So I said, geez, I'm going to try another. Uh, basically, when you carve, your first piece is probably, the, you know, that's the best piece. So as you progress along, you get better and better, and uh, you just keep at it, make a lot of mistakes. And, uh, you know, you just, because there's so many things to do with carving, I mean, you can go into anything. Around Woodstock, I have work displayed uh, in the town hall and the hydro office, uh, community college, uh, people's homes, uh, in Fredericton, I have them in you know a lot of people's homes there. Uh, some have gone, some of my loons have gone to Texas and Switzerland. Uh, some of my carvings gone to Germany, so you know they've gone uh, at least halfway around the world anyway. You can't make any mistakes, so the eye has to be done right perfectly, and uh, if you muck it up there, then it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to start over again. But I do it all by hand pretty well. I like to see the piece uh, completed so I can, I can stand back and really appreciate, you know, the true nature of the wood which to me is kind of like a spiritual thing, but I think uh, wood has its own life and its own you know, story to tell in a lot of the pieces. But it also uh, uh, brings an appreciation for nature and, uh, and the environment. 